Now, let me offer you my theory. I, I was thinking about this. I, I really put a lot of thought into this. My theory about why John Boehner is stepping down. Because this, I, I think, you know, definitely to me, but I think to many of you as well, was very random. I mean, I was just scrolling through, through Facebook one day, and I saw John Boehner's resigning. Oh, my God. Um, of course, I think a lot of political pressure applied uh, 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 to this. Um, but I think his breaking point, and again, this is just a theory, but I, I think th- I just want to share with you where I'm at. I think the Pope visit, to this country was John Maynard's breaking point. I think that the Pope's message of accepting everyone, accepting, you know, illegals and all the rest conflicted with what conservatives were pressuring John Boehner to fight for. I mean, you guys probably all saw John Boehner standing behind the Pope that day when the Pope was speaking, crying like a baby. So obviously he had a very, very, um, he was influenced by the Pope, very much. And I think he had a revelation of sorts, where he thought to himself, this isn't worth it, because what I am being asked to do in my position as Speaker of the House is conflicting now with this uh, this message that I just heard. I, tru- I, I truly think, folks, that the Pope was John Boehner's breaking point. Again, it's just a theory, and it's certainly not the only thing. I, I don't want to diminish the impact that the uh, grassroots have had, the conservatives in this country has, ha- have had. Without, without the, pr- uh, the pressure that was applied from us, the grassroots, the conservatives, none of this would have happened. But I think it was a combination of that political pressure and the Pope's message that finally got John Boehner to resign. 